Welcome back to my channel, Alejandra Rose, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, I have a new type of video for you guys. So I'm starting a new series on my channel, and I'm hoping this one won't fail. I started a lot of different types of series on my channel, and I never finish them, I never go through with them, but I am trying on this one. So this one is going to be called The Darkest Moments in America. So I'm going to talk about The Darkest Moments in America like um, serial killers, missing people, um, big events, and theories behind them, and just give you kind of some information. So I thought to start this series off, I would talk about something that happened way long ago at the beginning of America. Um, well, at the beginning of the, you know, pilgrims coming to America. So today we're going to talk about Roanoke, the lost colony. Roanoke, or the Lost Colony, is one of America's oldest mysteries that have never been solved. In August of 1587, 115 English settlers were on Roanoke Island, an island off the coast of what is now known as North Carolina. After a while, the settlers decided that John White would be the new governor of Roanoke, so they decided he would have to go back to get supplies from England. So John White got on a ship and headed back to England to retrieve supplies for Roanoke. Obviously, in those days, going from one place to another was not as fast as it is now on cruise ships and passenger ships. It didn't take days or weeks, it took months and months and months. A war broke out, so he was not allowed to go back because they needed all the ships um, at the war. So it actually almost took him three years to get back to Roanoke, to the Roanoke colony. So when he finally did come back to the Roanoke colony, what he saw was something of a mystery. There was nobody left on the island. Nobody. There was no traces of anybody. There was no bodies, no bones, nothing left on the island. The only thing that was left was a word on a tree and it said Croto, if I'm pronouncing that right. And it had to do with, um, it, ha it was like another colony or another place. And um, that's the only thing. And it was carved on a tree. There was no traces of blood. There was no it didn't look like there was a battle or anything like that. So let's get into, so that's kind of like the, what we know about that. So let's go on to some of the theories. So the number one theory is that they were taken by Native Americans and they were assimilated to a Native American life. So there were some Native Americans around that area they were accustomed to do was to kill the men and take the women and children and keep them as part of their tribe so a lot of people believe that they were picked up and taken from the colony and the men were killed somewhere else and the women were assimilated to the Indian life so second theory that I saw um, as I did research was that people believe that they were either victims of cannibalism, that's why their bodies were not found, or that they um, or that they practiced cannibalism as well. Now that theory comes from the fact that the tribe from Crotone was considered more of maybe a friendly tribe, but that there was other tribes that knew about the English settlers that weren't as friendly. And some also believe that the settlers became very hungry and had not a lot of very, and did not have a lot of resources, so they decided to eat themselves. So another theory is that is believed is that the settlers tried to um, sail back to England and got lost at sea or met a hurricane or some type of storm and died at sea. 
that is a very possible one, I think, in my belief, in my honest opinion, because there was no bodies found in um, the colony. But it's also kind of weird because I think somebody, when they're planning to do something, you plan to tell the person who might be coming back. Um, but also maybe they didn't think he was coming back for them. So it's kind of a weird situation. So one other theory that is kind of interesting, it's not as believable to me, but it is interesting, is, okay, so there was a little girl named Virginia Dare. She was the first English-born child, the granddaughter of John White. And the theory is that she survived whatever happened to the colony, and because she was a child, a very small child, like two to three years old, um, the Indian tribe took pity on her and turned her into a beautiful doe in that she roamed the forest in like a spirit-like doe. It's been a mystery for hundreds of years, hundreds and hundreds of years, and nobody has figured it out. We just have a lot of theories, aliens, a bunch of theories I didn't even get into. Um, and it's just, to me, it's so interesting because it was a dark, moment in American history, 115 people went missing and no traces and still to this day we have no information about what happened to them or why they were gone. This is how my video is going to turn out. Hopefully it'll be a lot more organized next time. I was just kind of nervous about putting it out there. Um, let me know what your theories are about Roanoke. Tell me what you guys learned in history class because in history class when I was in high school I didn't learn anything about this until I was in college and it was because somebody brought it up and because um what show was it uh, American Horror Story had talked about it so that's why we talked about it in class because he knew he was gonna get a lot of questions about it but it's not something that's talked about and I think it's because it's something short but I think it's very interesting and it is part of our history and I think we should talk about it more. So anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you guys like this new series. I'm going to try to keep it going. Um, and let me know what your theories are, what you think of Roanoke. And let me know what you guys want to see next. So anyway, let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, I think I'll be doing this once a month as well as my weight loss. And I think more of the things that I'll be doing more often are going to be like improvised videos and um, vlogs. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this new video. And I hope you guys have an awesome September. Bye!